I'm Jeff Mixon, and this is the Civitas Institute's Talk of the State. Uh, joining me once again is John Davis, elections forecaster. Uh, previously, we talked about the presidential race. Let's talk about the governor's race in North Carolina. North Carolina voted on a governor uh, this year and a council of state. Um, what did you see in those races? Well, Pat McCoy was a very, very attractive candidate, and, and frankly, when it comes to a head-to-head -head race, he defeated uh, Beverly Purdue, or certainly would have had it not been for other factors. Uh, he could not defeat, in addition to uh, Purdue and her 15 million to his 5 million, uh, he could Money's not... Money's always a consideration. Money's a big deal. Uh, he could not defeat an unpopular president, a lackluster presidential nominee, and a superstar of a Democrat presidential nominee who invested hundreds of millions uh, in turning out um, voters, 47 offices in this state, 400 paid staff, uh, extraordinary uh, uh, turnout of Democrats this fall. Another investment by the party in straight ticket voting, uh, I've read 1.7 million uh, invested by the Democratic Party in teaching uh, uh, Democrats how to vote for president and then vote a straight well, ticket. And that, that was important because of the way our ballot is set up, it's to uh, separate out the presidential election from down the ballot. So they, they actually had to overcome that, and, I, and I, obviously they did pretty successfully. They, they did an extraordinary job. They should be commended, and, and I think Republicans uh, can, uh, can learn a lot from the way Democrats managed uh, uh, that turnout operation this year. It was truly unprecedented. A great job. But that's what uh, uh, defeated um, Pat McCrory. He was an exceptional candidate. Um, you know, three weeks out, he probably had her beat. But once again, he's got $5 million. She's got $15 million. The uh, Republican Governors Association out of D.C. spent another four mm -hmm. on his behalf uh, with negative ads trying to chip away at her, uh, her support. Uh, she got another $2.5 two from... Uh, uh, her independent sources. So eventually uh, she still had uh, probably a two to one advantage, 18 million to 9 million or so, and that's what we know about. Do, do you think, I think, um, you know, Obama probably had the race sewed up two weeks out uh, do you, and really didn't need North Carolina to win. Do you think his return trips to North Carolina in the last week were those, do you think that might have been designed to help Beverly Purdue? I doubt it was designed to help Purdue. Um, Obama really likes North Carolina for mm -hmm. some reason. For some reason, he decided several months ago that he was going to try to win this state. He must have took it as a challenge. He really did. He came here eight times. Eight times. And he would not have come here eight times had he, had he not been committed to carrying this state. And, of course, once again invested uh, millions of dollars, early TV, and I cannot emphasize enough, 47 offices, mm -hmm. 400 paid staff, registering voters in historic numbers and turning out voters in mm. historic numbers. Fascinating. Let's talk about the Council of State races. What did you see there? Well, I think one of the most interesting uh, new developments is the fact that the Council of State, 10 members, is now um, a, a female majority. So first time in the history of the state, uh, six uh, women uh, of the 10. Uh, we have a female governor a female Secretary of State, female Treasurer, female Auditor, female uh, Head of Education, and of course uh, the Labor Department. So uh, uh, that's that's a big, big, big change uh, uh, in the makeup of the Council of State. Now, I've heard you say that women outnumber men in North Carolina. That's right. Women outnumber men, uh, over 3 million uh, uh, women, 2.7 uh, I think men, 3.4 million women. So. Um, 55-45 advantage, and uh, women turn out in, uh, in higher numbers than men. So when it comes to these down-ballot races, and auditors a good example, uh, it was less versus Beth. Mm -hmm. In other words, they didn't spend enough money in a state of 6 million voters to distinguish themselves. Right. So most voters went in there and they said, well, one is less, one is Beth and Beth won. So I think in many cases in the down ballot races, including judicial races, where very little money is being spent, gender is a big deal. As a matter of fact, there have been 27 races since 2000 that came down to a male candidate versus a female candidate, and the female candidate has won 21 out of 27 of those races. 
gender is a big deal in so statewide races in North Carolina. The Republicans might need to give them a couple of women on the Exactly. Ballot. When it comes to recruiting, you have to think about things like uh, like gender. It's a big deal in this state. Well, thank you. Those are some uh, very interesting comments. Uh, join us next time uh, when we're going to review some more election results on Civitas Institute's Talk of the State.